Hi everyone, welcome to Maker's Mind. Today I'm going to show you how me and my dad built an electric scooter from an old hoverboard. This is an old hoverboard which doesn't run, but the wheels are looking fine. We are planning to use one of the wheels and transfer it to the electric scooter. Before we start on it, we should test the copper coil of the hub motor. Okay, the copper coil inside the wheel looks good. The next thing, we need a battery and a controller to control the motor. Next, we need a throttle sensor, which will be used for controlling the acceleration of the scooter. We have created a circuit diagram, which will help you visualize all the components that are connected to each other. Next, we are going to connect everything together and check if the wheel is spinning. Okay, everything looks fine. We are going to use this metal TV mount for the frame of the scooter. We will cut it into a desired length and the leftover pieces will be used to increase the strength of the frame. We are going to use a welding machine to join the different parts. Proper safety precautions need to be taken while handling the welding machine. To attach the wheel to the scooter, we are going to use the same wheel mount from the hoverboard. So we need to cut out this portion from the hoverboard frame.
got this broken e-scooter from online and we are planning to reuse its handle attachments. We had to extend the handlebar using a metal pool of the same diameter. going to build a box which can fit all the electronic equipment.
have finished working on the scooter, so let me demonstrate how it works. Right here, there is a red switch. You turn it on, and then you put the key in ignition, like this. So when you, so when you move this back, it will accelerate, and this is the brake. When you press the brake, keep the accelerator off and press it and the scooter will stop. like share and subscribe to our channel thank you